Hi, so I know it's been a while since we've had a video up, you know, again. <laughs> um, but, I mean, we have been busy. I've had like a, I've seen a couple of comments that have popped up in our notifications asking about everything. Um, so I thought I'd just make a, I guess an update video. I don't remember the last time I put a video up. I know it's probably been a couple of months. Um, but like the last video that I put up, um, said like we've been doing a more structured homeschool for Sophia. And so that's been like my priority, um, to make sure that her education is going smoothly and everything. Um, so nothing's happened to Sophia. We're okay. Like knock on wood. Um, but I did want to just like, I don't know. I, we appreciate that people have been invested in us and care about us and care about Sophia so much. But at the same time, it's also, I don't know, necessary to point out that like if something did happen to Sophia or if she is sick, I'm not going to be picking up a camera and talking about it when Sophia has been admitted to the hospital. Um, I've posted on her page to update because that's originally when we've been updating family members. That's how we told everybody what's been happening. That's what her Team Sophia page on Facebook was originally created for. Um, but filming her while she's in the hospital is not something that I've ever done. Um, and I just, that's not something that I would really that's just not something that I would even think to do. Um, and if something worse had happened, that would not be a priority for me. So just to clear that up, I know that everybody is, uh, you know, the people here, I, we really appreciate all of you and everything, but like, that is not something that would be a priority for us. Um, and uh, yeah. So we appreciate like the concern and everything for Sophia, but you know, she's doing great. Um, we just have been busy and like, it's hard for me to think of setting up a camera and doing these things in the moment when like, I'm trying to actually do these things with Sophia. Um, but she's been doing her schooling. We, um, I don't remember the last time we, I mean, we did all of our holidays at home. We, we've always done our holidays at home. We usually, like before COVID and everything, we had people come over to the house. We didn't have anybody this year again. Um, we're hoping next year we'll be able to maybe have family members over to our house again. Um, but Sophia is, she's asleep right now. She's getting her feed, but, um, it snowed today. So, but yeah, she's been doing I'm just repeating myself. Yeah, she's been doing school. And we've also had some, like, family members have some things happen that we've been trying to help with and um, support them with and everything. And so it's kind of just been kind of a whirlwind going on. Um, but... Hopefully, towards, towards the warmer months, um, we're hoping that we can start to get out and, like, slowly start to do some things that we used to do. Um, 
I'm not exactly sure what we're thinking about doing, uh, but we're hoping to maybe get back to doing a few normal things that we used to do. Um, so we'll see. But right now we're still in like flu season mode and I know RSV has been really bad this year. Um, so it's going to be that way until at least spring, which will be April or so. And then um, we're going to be making our appointments for Denver soon and getting that all ready for June or so. Um, but yeah, it's just been trying to keep Sophia on a good schedule for her schooling and keep that more structured. And she's been doing really well. Um, every test that she's been taking, she's been getting an A plus on. She, um, she's really smart. She, catch, she catches on to things really quickly. Like we've said before, like she knows things without being taught them. She just picks up on things really fast. And, um, being able to teach her in a way that works best for her, the way that she um, needs to be accommodated for is best. Um, and then we were talking to her therapists about possibly them finding like an eye gaze communication device before she comes back we're, we've been talking about going back to in-person therapy um, when it gets warm again um, because we've had to put speech therapy on pause. And um, so hopefully they can find something like that for her to start trying to use because I think that she would really like to have something that she can consistently be able to communicate with because she says words and sentences that she can get out um, when she can, but it is difficult for her sometimes and she gets frustrated and she'll say that she says, you know, it's hard and, and it's upsetting for her sometimes. And so if she could find a way to be able to more consistently talk to us. I think that that would really benefit her really well. Um, so once we're able to go back to in-person speech, if they can find that, I think that would be really helpful for her. And if they could find that and be able to get her her own after, she, I mean, she'll have to use it consistently to be able to prove to insurance that she's, I don't know, worthy of, <laughs> of them paying for it because all of these machines and everything cost, you know, as much as a new car. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of on the horizon for the new year and like going into spring and the summer months. But for right now we're kind of just on the normal winter lockdown kind of thing. Um, until that kind of goes by us. Um, so that's kind of the updates for now. And when Sophia gets up, I'll try to get a couple shots of her. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just update and like kind of clear that up for anybody that like, um, again, like, we appreciate like everybody caring so much about Sophia and our family, but yeah, that's, it wouldn't be the first priority at all <laughs> if Sophia is sick or worse, like that is not going to be something that is going to be on my mind or like something that I'm going to think of immediately at all. Um, so yeah. Um, but 
everything's fine. We're just, it's just been really busy trying to get into the, the routine of making sure that Sophia is keeping the structure with her schooling and everything and getting into a routine that keeps her like involved in everything so